Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm SD and in today's video I'm going to be upgrading my 10-year-old laptop and turning it into a laptop that can be used for coding in Angular and of course in any other framework or programming language. Yes, I have the Asus X551M which was released back in 2014. In this video I'm going to be disassembling the laptop and I'll be upgrading the RAM and the hard drive. So if you're interested, keep on watching. My goal is to turn this old piece of uh, laptop into a coding machine. This will be a challenging task and I'm going to make two videos. This one, part one, is going to be devoted to doing the hardware upgrade and the next part is going to be about the software, mainly the operating system. I have done all of those things plenty of times before, but I rarely record the process. This video is actually from last November. I have said this before and I will say it again. I am a little bit behind, well, quite a lot behind on uploading videos. I often have videos that are sitting for months and months until I actually have the time to publish them. So yeah, this one has been <laughs> waiting for a little while. Now let's get on to it. I'm going to start with the bottom cover, which is commonly the starting point when it comes to opening up laptops. I have not done a disassemble of this particular model before, but I doubt that I will see something that I have not seen before. I'm storing all the screws in a designated box, and of course I'm using a plastic card, which makes it easier to separate the front part from the back part. I had this routine of devoting the weekends to doing non-coding stuff, so I would be upgrading some machines that I have by, I would be maybe installing or reinstalling uh, operating systems, I would be making YouTube videos. I should try and get back to doing it since it serves in a nice break from the daily routine of coding and sometimes coding for too long. After I'm done with separating the front from the back, I am gently turning the laptop around because I see how the keyboard is connected and I work on removing it. It is held by three not so ribbon connectors, so I am gently releasing each one. Now that the keyboard is removed, the motherboard gets completely exposed. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I'm going to start with the hard drive caddy because this will make it easier to move on to the motherboard after. The hard drive caddy is held by four little screws, two of which are on the motherboard, so I'll be screwing them first of all, and then the rest of them one by one. And now the hard drive caddy is out together with the hard drive itself. Moving on with the motherboard, it seems that the RAM card slot is on the other side. Well, okay, <laughs> what can I do? Once again, I'm unscrewing every screw and I'm storing them in my tiny box. There are a few more connectors that I need to remove and I'm being extra careful with those. The battery on this laptop is not so easily accessible and by the way, the battery that I have is faulty. The laptop works only when it is plugged in and charging. As soon as I unplug it, it stops working. The battery shows empty all the time, so maybe I'll look into getting a new battery. I'm releasing the video cable, which is held by this annoying sticker. And finally, I'm turning over the motherboard. Oh, just look at that. That is so pretty. I am getting my brand new RAM card, which I actually went to pick up in person since it was not available for a normal price at the online stores where I was checking. I guess those are more of a collector's pieces now since it's been 10 years. <laughs> um, here is the old RAM, which was 4 gigabytes, and the new RAM, which is... 8 gigabytes. Yeah, I know 8 gigabytes sounds like nothing now, and I would have gone for 16 at least, except that it's not supported by this model. It has only one RAM card memory slot, and it has non removable built in 2 gigabyte RAM, and the maximum that it can support is 10 gigabytes. That leaves me with the only option of upgrading to 8 gigabytes. So that's the best that I could do. I am going to store the old one. Not really sure why, but I'm just keeping it. Now I'm going to put the motherboard back in place, connect what needs to be connected, screw back in what needs to be screwed back in, and move on to the storage. I'm removing all the parts of the caddy. Here is the old storage, which was 500 gigabytes hard drive, and I'm replacing it with one terabyte hard drive. I mean, I was thinking about SSD, but again, it is an old machine. I don't know 
how the machine would handle an SSD and besides that I didn't have a spare one right now so a little bit of upgrade in terms of space it's nice thing to add and now I'm placing the new hard drive back in the caddy and screwing in the tiny screws and reattaching the caddy onto the motherboard back again and then I just continue to reassembling the laptop those upgrades did make a nice difference, but it is pretty old laptop and while I was running Windows on it, the difference was not so noticeable. You can check out my channel or the video description for part 2 to see which operating system I selected and how I'm installing it and a showcase of how it actually revived this laptop. You can also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.